Hello everyone, I'm Nitin. Welcome back to this channel. Wait guys, I just need your one minute before of starting this video. Uh, I just want to say that uh, we are just 40 subscribers away to hitting the 3k mark on YouTube. And before moving forward, I just want you to share this video or share any of the video in this channel with your friends with your family or anyone who don't subscribe to this channel yet okay so we can hit the 3k subscriber mark after this video so yes if you've done it so let's move towards the main part of this video that's why you all came here to learn something good something different okay then let's start the main part. so here we are talking about the VHS look okay uh, it's the look you can find in the old movies or old videos which are shooting from camcorder or the uh, cameras with uses wheel you know the, what is wheel okay so those camera which uses wheel the picture from those camera are blurry and little bit of messed out so but in today's era that look is very trending and we will learn that effect in this video so let me show you what vhs looks look like wait huh? mm. wait over here uh. <laughs> yes this is how vhs looks look like Okay, now let's head to our topic. So let's first import a clip where you want to create the VHS and glitch effect. So first you will do the glitch effect. Uh, right now this is my clip. Uh, let's extend it a little bit. Now first we have to do the glitch effect. Then click on the clip. And go to the effects console panel. Okay, there you see in opacity blending mode click it to linear dodge okay so it create a uh, different layers of a single a clip okay now what we have to do is just click alt and duplicate this layer as you can see I'll duplicate this layer like this now duplicate it once again now we have three layers of same picture as you can see in the viewing panel our picture is blown out okay now what we have to do is uh, just go to the effects panel go to the effects panel and type RGB okay as you can see there is a effect called color balance RGB color balance you have to apply that effect on all the three clips like this just click and drag and drop that effect on every clip now as you can see uh, the clip is now affected but there is no effect on uh, the viewing panel so we just click on the first clip go to the effects console and there you can see a color balance panel is created select the first clip so we select the red 100 and rest of two is zero and zero as you can see zero and zero respectively okay now what we have to do is go to the second clip and we make this second clip as a green part okay so now go to that and put red to 0 green to 100 and blue to 0 okay now we have to go to the third clip and do the same but this time it will be blue now go to the third clip go to effects panel create red to 0 green also 0 and blue will be 100 as you can see our picture is now perfectly balanced like before now we have to do is now this create uh, three layers with a green a blue and a red layer now what we have to do just click on the first layer and go to the effects panel and there as you can see there is a scale we just increase the scale by two percent increase the scale by two percent okay now we have to do is one zero two as you can see there is a there is a slightly difference between the picture so there is a red and glitch effect is now improving you can do different things like uh, you can you can also animate that by using the key uh, as you can see i'll key the different portion at different part different sizes it will create a glitch effect you have to do is just uh, increase the speed okay that's that's how you can do the glitch effect I'm just doing the glitch effect but I don't like that and uh, that's it that's it for the glitch effect as you can see there okay now what we have to do now we do the VHS look for VHS look now this is the glitch effect 
Now what we have to do, the main goal is creating a VHS look, old look. For that, I'll give a link in the description of this video. Just download this video, which is a overlay file. Okay, overlay file of VHS look. Now just drag and drop on the uh, project panel. As you can see, now click and drag it on timeline. So it's very big file. So what you have to do is just click where you want. Cut the cut that part and go to the uh, viewing panel and decrease the size of it. As you can see, I go to the effects panel and decrease the size. As you can see, I'll decrease it by clicking there, just like this. Now, what you have to do, it's all blown out. It's black only. So for that, what you have to do is just click on that video, go to the effects panel, go to the opacity, and then. So there you see the linear dodge as before so click on linear dodge as you can see our video is now blend okay now it's on you how much opacity you want you can increase or decrease the opacity I generally uh, put it at least 50 so as you can see right now this is how you can create VHS look and now if you like this video click the like button if uh, you love this video click the share button also share this video as much as you can and subscribe to this channel for more amazing content thank you